Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be talking about adjacent and sibling CSS selectors. And you may or may not be aware that these even exist, or you may use them and you may not know their full uh, power. Um, but really, I think they're excellent, and the adjacent selector in particular I use all the time. In fact, the adjacent selector and the uh, the sibling selector are both compatible with IE7 and up, Firefox, Chrome, Safari, and Opera, so you shouldn't really have any trouble using them on your projects, unless, of course, you need to, to for some reason, to support IE6, but I, I don't think people are really supporting IE6 anymore. So um, to, to get into it, we're actually going to first do the adjacent selector. Now what the adjacent selector does is it styles something or it applies the styles to something immediately following something else. So for this example, if let's say we have this, uh, we have an unordered list here, then a couple of paragraphs, uh, then a div, then another paragraph. Let's say if we wanted to have this very first paragraph after an ordered list. So the paragraph just preceding an unordered list uh, to be styled, we could use the adjacent selector by saying ul plus p. Now here we could give this some styles by perhaps saying uh, font weight, um, we could say bold, and color blue, now, if you look down here at the CSS or at the uh, HTML, the rendered version of the code here, we now see we have this unordered list, which already I'm floating the list items uh, in case you're wondering. Uh, but the only thing that's getting those styles is the paragraph that's directly next to this in the code. And you can see it's on the same level. So this selector is going to say, all right, I'm a UL. Is the next item a paragraph? Yeah. Okay, then style it. Uh, what it's not going to do is say, hey, I'm another paragraph directly after that because it's going to look at the element that precedes it, which is not a UL, of course, and it's not going to style this. Now, also, uh, it's not going to style anything inside of something. So if you put a paragraph inside of a div and then you were to say div p, notice how it's this... Um, this bottom text here that's getting the styling and not, of course, the paragraph within the div. Now, what are some ways you could use this? Well, I use this all the time in, uh, let's say I have a navigation and I want uh, the list items to be spaced apart. Now, you've probably done this before and maybe on your list items, you could have just said, uh, margin right 20 pixels or something here and now of course they uh, they each have a margin right of 20 pixels but what's weird about that is this last item is still gonna have a margin right of 20 pixels and if you need this to fit inside of an area or something it's just sort of weird like you shouldn't actually have this extra space at the end of here so one way I really like to use the selector I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this is to say li plus li and then right here we can say margin left and now we can say 20 pixels so what's going on here is that it's going to look for any li that immediately follows an li and give it a margin left to 20 pixels what that's doing is it's saying okay first list item uh, are you following an ally? No. Second list item, you following an ally? Yes. Third, you following an ally? Yes. All right, give you margin left. So this way we can evenly space out our list items without having to have any extra spacing and without having to maybe give it a class of last and then say, hey, last item, you know, you don't actually have any margin right. So this is saving you some code here and it's a pretty darn cool thing that I use all the time. Perhaps you can find even better, more awesome uses for the adjacent selector. Okay, so next up is the sibling selector. Now the sibling selector is really similar to the adjacent selector. However, with this, uh, the, um, 
However, what the sibling selector does is actually broader. It looks for every paragraph that's after a UL on the same level. So check this out. If we had the same sort of code we had before and we said a UL and then the sibling selector is the tilde, so on, uh, um, it's the key that's next to the number one if you do shift and then we say paragraph, right? And we did font weight bold and color blue like that, right? So now you'll notice that every single paragraph, because it's on the same level as this UL and immediately follow, well, and not immediately, and following it is going to be blue. Now let's actually name this one inside. And what I'm going to do is put this paragraph inside of the div. Now what's funny here is that even though this is a paragraph tag after a UL, it is not a count for this because it's not on the same level. It's not a sibling of it. It's a child of a sibling. So now it's important to notice that uh, while this is broad, what it doesn't do is it doesn't go backwards. So if we were to say any paragraph uh, that is after a div, essentially, uh, you'll notice that only this bottom paragraph, of course, gets styling because this isn't just looking for any paragraph or something like that. It needs, of course, to be preceded by a div. So this is the sibling selector. It allows you to select siblings, and this is the adjacent sibling selector, and it allows you to select the adjacent siblings. Uh, so try these out, experiment with them. By all means, use them. They're supported. So check it out and see exactly how they can help you today. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, please comment on the video or hit us up on Facebook or Twitter. Anything, let us know. We'd love to hear from you. So thanks for watching. Bye.